2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hello, Luke Olvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, as this round begins, what are your thoughts on this particular player? Never easy going to bed with the lead and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And inside the red zone, around 110 yards to go. Feeling strong, going for less club. Yep, he's putting Rosie's nosy out of joint with that one. That was an incredible approach. A seven-footer right here. This is their look at birdie. Well played. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead, with Brooke Henderson following in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. <laughs> Looks to be going with the six iron. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. That is definitely a confidence builder. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Teeing off here at the third hole. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Well, well played. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Wow, that drive. Incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Ah. Yeah, got a bit out of shape. This one shouldn't find the cut stuff. Atta boy. Good shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now, and this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. 
And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Teeing off here at the fourth. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Lining up here after a bunch of birdies, Rich. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Opting for the five iron. That was a beauty. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. This one's tracking. And down it goes for an eagle. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Teeing off here at the fifth. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. And that's their fourth booty of the day. Unreal display this week with that wand. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh my, that was launched. And what's in front of them there, Henny? And from about 105 yards, what a drive that was. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. And hitting yet another green here today. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Eight feet to the cup. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Hang on. This looks pretty handy. Beautiful shot. I don't like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. They've had a chat with the caddy and they're going for it. This one's on. Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. So exciting to have an eagle putt here.
Well, that's a nice line. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead, with Brooke Henderson following in second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Trying to calm himself down after that eagle's last. Nicely done. Going with the five wood. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Putting for a par here. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This hole is a long par four. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Uh-oh, this one's headed for the rough. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. This for par. Hey, that's a chance. For the par. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. A par putt on the table. Hey, nice looking line. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. It's time to begin this powerful hole.
Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. This one looks like it's going left. And he's hit that inside the range. Outside chance for Birdie here, Luke. And he's down there. You got a read? Ah, uh, this is an outside chance. Maybe a lag putt even. He's got 30 feet. Come on, don't be shy. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Left yourself an opportunity. This putt is from 14 feet. Looking better. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one is heading towards the nasty stuff. Oh, that's a great shot and sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Now on the tee of a long par four. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Now he's eyeing up around 160 here. Over 300 yards from the tee as well.
Oh, good look at Birdie here. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, that's too bad. And just about eight feet left to the hole. It's looking solid. Good putt, that. Currently in first position. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the eight iron here. Ah, yes. Talk about dialed in. That thing had eyes for the hole. Butting for birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. He's got this for his part. These are on rails, looking good. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Still in the lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Here we have a short par four. Do you get after it or find another way to navigate down the hole? Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Oh, absolutely flushed. This shot from 120 yards. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, he's been prowling around this one. It's 11 foot out. Get excited. This could go in. Well, that'll play. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Tell you, where he drove this, that's where some players are dreaming of pitching out to. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard.
This has a real chance. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. Moments like that deserve another look. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Can they get a little ground draw here? That's a lovely shot here at the 18th, and a chance for birdie at the last. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. And it's worth taking another look at that one. That was an outstanding start by this player, Rich, and they've gone on to victory. What a way to win. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us.